Welcome to Toffee TV. I am joined by John Blaine, Chairman of the Shareholders Committee. Is that right? Association. Association. Yeah. See, this is what he's here for. Me to say the wrong thing and John to correct me. <laughs> John B, let's call him that. You're being ped, are you, today? Well, I'm just doing... I'm better than better. Where is he? Better look. He's ran off to get his teeth done. He's getting those, you know, like he's Jürgen Klopp. Whiten, is he? like, he's getting like Jürgen Klopp. He's getting highlights in his ear and his teeth. <laughs> um, John, it's, I haven't seen you for a while and there's been changes aplenty. There has, yeah. At yeah. Goodison. Um, now, from... We were just talking off camera, just very generally. Now, from my point of view... I'm pleased with with the changes. Um, first and foremost, because there's actually names to mm -hmm. names to actual responsibilities or accountability or however yeah. you want to word that. Whereas I think for too long, it's been either everything's been clumped together and gone. Well, it's all down to Robert Elstone, or people have gone. Well, that's not really, that's not really me. That's a, and now yeah, it yeah. feels as though there's a there's almost a map at the club to go, well, they do that and they yeah, do sure. that and they do that. So is that, am I right to think like that or? No, I think you are. I okay. think, I think you're, you're definitely right because, you know, as fans, we're all key stakeholders, aren't we, in the football mm. club? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, often all we want to know is what's going on, you yeah. know? And I, one of the things I do when I'm, when I'm doing my day job yeah. Is is you should? And I was talking about this earlier this week with somebody. I was talking about directors direct and managers manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the old chief exec appeared to want to direct, manage, you know, open the mail, you know, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Everything. Yeah. And this chief exec, the new one, mm -hmm. you know, Denise, she's clearly been a part of the old team, mm -hmm. and she just comes across. And I met her earlier this week uh, with a shareholders hat on because oh, we, we, yeah. we had one of our quarterly meetings. Okay. And she clearly is more transparent, more open. Mm. That doesn't mean to say she's going to tell us everything. No, of course. You know, and, and when you're talking... More approachable? I think so, yeah. Okay. And when you talk about business, you know, I'm full of crap, me, you know. Um, another sound bite mm -hmm. is, you know, teamwork isn't a democracy. Right, so right. just because we're a team mm. doesn't mean everyone gets an equal vote. No. So undoubtedly there will be things the football club don't want to tell us. Of course. Yeah. Or can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. can't or won't mm -hmm. you know um, but beyond that I just get the feeling that Denise is going to seek to be as open as she can yeah clearly she's going to try and consult with fans as often as she can so that means things around Bramley Moore the legacy for Goodison and all those sorts of yeah, things yeah. and part of that transparency is and what you'd expect with a new chief exec is I'm gonna have my team yeah yeah um, how do you make your team look different from somebody else's team? Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of the things you might do is change the job titles, I suppose. Which happened. Or give <laughs> job titles. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And so whichever way you look at it, you knew that Sasha Ryazansev was on the board. Mm. But he didn't know what he did. No, no. He was a senior guy and probably contributed to board meetings and had opinions and gave advice and guidance and so yeah. on. But it's accountability mm. that we're talking about. And we now know he's accountable for two things. Finance, which is an administrative task, I yeah, guess, yeah. of adding the sums up. Yeah. But the real one, commercial. Yeah. And we underperform commercially. Oh, massively. So now we know Sasha's accountable for improving that. Mm. The board's collectively <laughs> accountable. Of course. But within the board, they want him to focus on the commercial stuff. <laughs> they want Keith Harris to focus on the new stadium. Mm. which presumably is everything from finalising the design to making sure we've got the money to buy the damn thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then what Denise has done is, uh, personal observation, is the football club's governance didn't seem... If it was there, it wasn't visible enough. So she's putting those hygiene jobs into the team as well, being in mm. finance director like Grant Ingalls, yeah. or Peter Shaw doing the operations side, yeah. or a to be announced strategy guy, and so on. So in short, what you just said is exactly what it is. Denise has come along, she's got the big job, I need to put a team around me, and clearly and, and frequently, the way you might assess um, how effective a leader is, is how good they are or effective rather at putting good people around them yeah now lots of those people have been here for a while mm. which means it's not like rabbit in the headlights no yeah um but if people had a problem 
with the performance of the board or the senior management team previously, mm -hmm. they might say, uh, but it's the same guys. It's yeah, yeah. rearranging the deck chairs. It's bigger job titles and bigger pay packets for everybody, you know, and, and so on. But what Denise said when we spoke with her, it's not just that. These people are now accountable. Mm -hmm. They've got yeah. very defined objectives. And I guess anyone who's known or come across Denise in a day job previously of being running the charity and so on, you can, you can be a good communicator and you can be sympathetic and so on and so forth. But when decisions have to be made, you have to make them. And I have no doubt if one of that board underperforms and it's Denise's decision of whether they stay or go, then the right outcome will happen. Okay. Um, so I think we have to give them a bit of time. Yeah. Um, and clearly you normally get a cascade of events that's going on in the sense that you do your top table, don't you? Yeah. Which was the board. The board, yeah. And then um, she, Denise, has extended that by yeah. talking about the next layers down. And that's yeah. when you get into perhaps the people who are responsible. Yeah. You know, it doesn't allow people who are accountable to abdicate just because there's people who are responsible. No, no. But if you go down that, 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 tower yeah you, you effectively say well we've got a chief exec who's accountable for the performance of the business non-footballing non side football yeah, but yeah. she has to contribute to that because she has to produce the revenues and the profits that can be spent on players and yeah, and all that good else. stuff yeah yeah and she's effectively saying and my man who's going to be accountable at board level for commercial performance where we need to improve tremendously is sasha yeah and sasha's team goes right and yeah. alan mctavish it is Alan, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Alan Savage, yeah. yeah. Alan is the man who's responsible for delivering on the commitments. Right, nice. yeah. So in a hierarchical sense, you've yeah. got an accountable at board, a responsible. Yeah. And we can't get into management theory and races and all those <laughs> charts that you create because yeah. clearly you can have mixtures of accountable and responsible and so on. Mm. But everyone should know who they need to consult and who they need to inform so we can get decisions made. Yeah. And... Um, Early, early signs. I think I said this in our podcast, yeah. last, the last last podcast we did. Early signs are promising. I mean, anyone who engages at the moment with the football club can see the difference. Right. Okay. You know, I, first thing I did was let it settle, leave it alone for a number of weeks because she's probably still doing her first sixty days or something. Yeah, yeah. And then I rang my mates at the radio stations. You know, the commercial mm. ones, the public ones. Yeah. The guys who write for newspapers. Have you noticed any difference? Yeah. And they all said yes. Yeah. And it was positive differences. Mm. People in the past who may have been a bit reticent, a bit cautious, a bit awkward. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, what can I do to help you? You know, that sort of thing. But and that, if that, needs, that, if that can be maintained, that's fantastic. Yeah. Because that to me is obviously what we do. We deal with a side of a football club, and, and on some level, it's open, and on other level, it's not open and when it should yeah. be open yeah. and obviously like you said very early on we understand that the stuff you're not going to be told that's fine no no problem with that but I, I think I like the fact that we you know we sat there I'm quite sure when you sat last time in with Ped um, you were talking about what you'd like to have and we certainly did it um, in terms of a reshuffle and a restructure and, and we all knew obviously Robert Elston was moving on and we did, you know, we were unsure or unclear what was going to happen. Um, but the fact that we've got the director of football, and I think it is it, massively important. Now, we've got obviously Denise on with the left hand doing business stuff. I know you said there'll be a, a crossover, and the has well, to be. Well, she does some football stuff, yeah, of course, because, because the well. academy comes yeah, in through and Denise. that comes yeah. in through Denise as yeah. well. But obviously, we've got now Marcel Brands, who is again for the, for the first team, yeah. first team, and. and and down as well with that and obviously we've got uh, David Harrison who's the director of football operations sure. and stuff like that so there's a there's a clear line as well which mm -hmm. which what we have to follow and I think that's really important because when people talk about the director of football we've all been guilty probably of going what does it do and what do we mean but it's the game's moved on John hasn't it so totally. much that totally. We, I think when you look at Everton for anyone who doesn't like the director of football thing and I get it because it's still new a new thing to us not in Europe I don't know what the split is out there no I don't I don't. I'm, a lot of people probably made up with it now but yeah. I know that there's some that don't like it 
we're in a, a bit of a mess at the moment, I would suggest, because we haven't had a director of football. And what I mean by that... We had a guy called... Well, we had, yeah. But we didn't name, have one. In name, we didn't, we didn't have, have one. one. But I just mean even, even going back as far as when David Moyes left. Because what happens is, or what has happened at a lot of football clubs, is you get a manager in. So you come in as the manager. Mm-hmm. You buy half a dozen players to play yeah. long ball. Yeah? It doesn't yeah. work as well as... We should. I'm not. I'm not saying you're a long ball. A long ball one. No, I'm not. It doesn't work as well as it should. So we replace you with Joe, who sat over there playing pro evolution soccer. Joe comes in and likes the pressing game, or likes the possession game, and he looks at your half a dozen players and goes, mm, "They can't do what I need them to do, and I need so I need another 150 million, and we'll get what we can." And then Joe, where Joe's Martinez, and that doesn't work. And then I come in and I'm cooming, and I go, "Well." I don't want John's players because they don't do that. I don't want Joe's players. So I need them. And you can't continue like that. No, so, of course you can't. And, and, and if, if you get into... I've said many times on the podcast, right, and probably in the early days, yeah. um, because, you know, for, for people out there, someone like Bill, Bill Kenwright, like yeah. Marmite, isn't he? You know, he is. You know, you've know, you got the yeah. guys who think it's all his fault. Yeah. And there's the guys who think he saved us. Where would we be? Yeah. And so on. And the truth is somewhere down somewhere the middle. Like down the middle. Now, because I have the good fortune to meet with him occasionally, with mm-hmm. shareholders mm-hmm. hat on, and, and, and he knows me and I know him and so on. And whenever we do any business, he's, you know, I, yeah, I'm yeah. for the nature of the business. And, and some of my colleagues come with me and, and the like. Then he's clearly an enthusiast. Of course. Right? Yeah. And as chairman, I think his, he's always seen his role as to be, and he says it, it might not always come across in the way people fully it's understand it, 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 it yeah? Understand yeah but yeah. his job is and this hasn't changed right mm-hmm. his job is to give as much resource to the manager as, as possible. possible yeah so when the manager comes along and says i want wayne ruby mm-hmm. i'll get him for you yeah. if i can if i can so off he goes and gets wayne ruby say yeah i want davy classen mm-hmm. i'll get him for you well, what do you want him for well, well, well. okay i'll get him yeah right get davy classen I want Sigurdsson. Mm. Hang on a minute, we've got two of these ten things already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'll play them like this. Yeah, Look, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, okay. So he goes and gets him. Now, who knows whether that's what happened, but it's not what? too difficult to visualise, is it? That, no, that's no. what did happen. That's exactly what happened, yeah. And where we might have thought that um, Walsh would be going, no. Mm. We need two tens, first pick, stand by. Yeah, that's it. Sorted. Pick which ones you want, yeah. you know, sort of thing. Off if we've we just bought Classen and then someone becomes available, and we see this in some clubs, they just mm. shift them out straight away, don't they? Yeah. You know? So that's where the, the proper director of football comes along, isn't mm. it? Yeah. And it's when we start hearing that we're actually playing the same brand of football in all the age groups. Yeah. And if you think about it, under David Unsworth as the director of coaching, mm. and I think his responsibilities have been extended yeah, because been they extended. now include the ladies' team yeah, yeah. And, and all the age groups, mm. really is that when he was the manager for a while he was trying to bring the style of play that had been successful for him below t- under 23s oh, yeah, yeah. into the first team mm. and he didn't get long enough who no. knows whether you know and too soon and all those sorts of things but it shouldn't be like that should it no and so i'm pretty damn sure a proper director of football which we're led to believe mr brands really is mm. yeah is going to say right how are we going to play yeah it's called a plan yeah or a strategy exactly yeah. even before a plan a strategy, a strategy yeah this is how we're going to play mm. you know and if we're going to play like that when we look at players to buy or, or to retain yeah. or to let go it's based on where do they fit in how we're going to play true, yeah. um so i actually think when he came in brands and said i'm going to review everything mm. part of that's got to be hasn't it how we're going to play of course and and you pick a manager consistent with the way you want to play exactly now we can all second guess yeah um just based on what um silver's done before Mm. that we're going to play a reasonably energetic technical pressing game yeah so three years down the line if he goes off to some big job somewhere which is always the the half full version of everton fans and or doesn't perform against the half empty yeah yeah yeah. or we move him on whatever yeah yeah then the style of play doesn't change does it 
Therefore, the types of players you want don't change. And, and actually, what you're really doing, and when I do, again, when I do my day job, I always think yeah. a, um, a line manager's job, yeah. and when I first explain this to people, particularly if they're working for me, it's a real, <laughs> it's a real problem for them if yeah, they're working yeah. for me, when I say it this way, is my job is to remove all the excuses you've got for not doing yours. Yeah, that's it. That's all I do, mm. okay? Um, and, and I say to people, and I've said it many times, then... If down the line, I mean, I remember some, the first time I made a load of people, uh, well, I sacked some people, but yeah. uh, the first time I had to make people redundant just through process Spots, improvement and all those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, someone said, oh, that's hard, that, you know, mm. getting, you know, getting rid yeah, of people. I said, well, not if you're honest. Yeah. Because you need to trust in people mm. and say, I'm sorry, but we've got some objective criteria why you're the person who has to go. Yeah. yeah. I'm really sorry, but we'll look after you. Yeah. Give you as much money as we can. Yeah. We'll help you find another job. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. give you training, da, 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 and all yeah, those yeah. sort of things. So that's you know, a force thing like that you can't control. The sacking one, which is Baz is just crap, I'm getting yeah. rid of him. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then people think I could never sack anybody. Well if they've got mm. kids and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I and I say, Well, my job is to take all the excuses away. Mm. That's right, yeah. And so a bit like Sherlock says, you know, you know, when you've excluded everything that isn't what's left, what's left is what it is, what it is no yeah. matter how unlikely. Yeah. And if I leave it that actually the, the problem here, Baz, is you. Yeah. So let's agree how you're going to leave. That's it. Yeah, We're yeah. not going to debate that like, you are leaving. Yeah. Let's agree let's how, how you're doing. going to leave. That's right. You know, whether you resign, compromise agreements, dismissal, whatever it might whatever be. Whatever it is. Yeah. And I'm conscience free because mm. I did my job, tried to make you successful. Yeah. And so if our manager has everything not giving to him on a plate no but the resources because he's, he's paid a lot of money yeah we remove the excuses mm. and he doesn't perform we replace him exactly but we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. No. the players still need to be there yeah i mean when you when you have disruption you know when the players got rid of martinez or when the players got rid of marino and so it doesn't matter how big your name is no. players can get rid of you oh without a shadow um it's easier to get rid of the manager than it is to get rid of 25 players of or in our case 38 yeah. or whatever it is yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so so all that stuff has to be joined together mm. it's around people management it's about trust it is. blah 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 and you you have to communicate with stakeholders so they understand what's going on what's going on yeah. you know and and i said to someone the other day um and i think if you if you do social media and stuff and there's loads of divvies on every platform yeah. but there's loads of really bright people as well yeah yeah and if people interact and talk to each other we all slowly get the message that this thing which is called everton it's yeah. blue and beats in our hearts yeah, and stuff yeah. it's not going to get fixed overnight no no so management of expectation becomes part of the the, the the style of the business and 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 that requires frankly trust it does uh, and so the club needs to get the fans to trust the club. But before they do that, the club has to trust the fans. Yeah? Yeah. And I think on occasions in the past, the club has thought, we won't tell them because they won't like it. Yeah. But you have to tell them eventually. Well, you've got to... <laughs> me and Ped often say this. It, it, control the narrative yourself, then. Yeah, if there's it. problems, if it's a problem and it's a problem, you may as well fill the space, then. It, it's like whenever... You know, at the risk of repeating... Itself. It, when we lose, they bury the heads. It's like don't come out for a few days, you know. And well, it's like from a yo media, aren't yeah, you? So you've so seen that at all. You look and you radio go, well, silence. Well, we've lost, so yeah. you've got to deal with it. It's yeah, like yeah. we've still got. If you come out and speak Tuesday, we still got beat on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and then when they do the Everton show or whatever, it's always like I'll be played. But come out and go. You know what? They were terrible at the weekend. It was yeah. one of them games. No one had a good game, or or he played well, or he. It, that's see, it. See, because that, then everyone will go. Yeah, that's right. That see that you—that's honestly what you're describing. Yeah, well, but, yeah, but lack of, lack of. Yeah. And under the under the previous regime, the chief mm. exec, yeah, who, yeah. who's clearly um, a half empty person. Yeah. And let's just describe Denise as half full, because they're both right, doing yeah, the same job. Doing, yeah. But the half empty person and the half full person behave completely differently. Right. One person is confident usually. They know they've got the job because they're good enough for it. Mm. They know they're going to be measured on how well they perform. They perform yeah. They're confident they can perform well. Therefore, they're actually going to put the right people around them. Yeah. The other person, probably a bit more cautious, is a bit worried that the young whippersnapper might steal their job. 
um, wants to have his his or her hand on every Every everything and so on and so forth so trust on this side is really hard to develop yeah trust on this side is really easy yeah you know this kind of uh, do life history bloody bloody coaching (laughs) mentoring crap here but uh, this guy is typically going to say you earn my trust yeah 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 yeah. this person which is the type i am by the way says you lose it yeah and that's it yeah. i i trust people till i have a reason not to, not to trust rather you. than i've got to know you three years before, before. i decide whether to trust yeah, you yeah, yeah. now a bit like the accountability responsibility stuff it's never yeah. that simple no. so there's layers of it but if overnight you have a trust trusting chief executive yeah you should see a difference well of course so the first game of the season that we play really bad yeah or lose when we shouldn't or whatever 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 mm. Um, and those guys don't go into a bunker for two or three days. Yeah. You'll go, whoa, that's yeah, different. That's a bit different, yeah, yeah. That's got to be Denise's fault. Well, all red. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If it gets better, it's it got to be better. her fault. Of course. If it doesn't get better, it's also her it's fault. It's also her fault. Well, and I've she, noticed... And she won't have an issue with it. I've noticed even um, even this week with the, with the manager, obviously, having his first training session stuff. stuff that we've been saying for ages and, and uh, talking to people and going, you need to get more stuff on the website. You need to get more shots at the players more stuff at yeah. the manager because you're creating the buzz you don't yeah. leave it and go oh well the manager will only give us 10 minutes filming a week now that was what Ronald Koeman I think it was 15 minutes filming a week okay someone should have turned around to him and gone let me just stop you there big man you are our employee yeah. and the fans are our lifeblood so we will film an hour a week or t- or 40 minutes a week or 50 minutes a week so that the fans are seeing what's going on what needs to be remembered over because you just said it mm. and, and it, it's it's blunt or yeah. you know it's stark but it's true mm. you know and I remember saying to someone really quite seen in the football club um, but they're just just employees that's yeah and all employees should be treated respectfully yeah know what their job is yeah know how their performance is measured and get rewarded for for, for not delivering their performance for exceeding performance yeah okay and one thing that he said on monday is these guys have all got directors of now when they were heads of mm. exactly what you said you wanted to see because we won't see the minutia no. about no, it no no of course but buried in the depths of that is that guy now knows what good looks like yeah and if, he, if he's not delivering good, hopefully he'll get the support infrastructure around him to yeah. say, are you struggling? Do you need some training? Yeah. Do you need more people? Do you need, what, what do you need? Whatever, what do you need to help And we'll you. help you yeah. perform. Yeah, yeah. So while some people in, in, in an audience, whether it's people listening to Evan Business Matters or people on Twitter or whatever, 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 you know, people director, that's a bit, you know, fluffy, isn't it? But that's what it's about. Mm. You know, it used to be called personnel, didn't it? Yeah. Then it was was human resources. Yeah, yeah. Now it's people. Yeah. You know, and we're all people and we all deserve to be treated respectfully. Definitely, yeah. And part of that is if I'm not doing a good job, tell me. Don't just give me a curly finger one day and sack me. You know, and that goes back to my. Communicate. Yeah. That goes back to my war story before about I never have a problem sacking people because it's the absolute last resort. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that needs to apply at all levels. So, mm. so when, when you say the manager says, I don't want my um, players mixing with key, key stakeholders, yeah. someone should say, why not? Mm. It's a distraction for them. Well, he's going to go and play golf for four hours yeah, when, in the sun yeah. without what he's some, you know, some lotion on <laughs> or something. It, yeah, you yeah. Know. Or he's going to go down a boozer. You know and you know drive home when he shouldn't and whatever whatever whatever, whatever. Yeah. so let's stop using excuses mm. you know and look at england yeah same yeah. thing exactly past managers behind big walls yeah. Can't do you know poor guys getting bored to death playing how many mm. god knows games of certain cards or video yeah, games they can yeah, play. Yeah. now they get out and they embrace people mm. they chill they relax they have a, something to occupy them. That's it. Because a footballer's life is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. You know, yeah. a couple of hours every day of real intense training, mm. assuming you then go and have massages or you, you go and do some extra stuff yourself, whatever. But they're all going to be early afternoon. Then you know. Heading home. With nothing to, to do. do balls, nothing yeah. to do. Play video, watch telly, listen to some newspaper saying you're crap, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, you know, and if you haven't yeah. got any kids or you're single, it's even, it. worse, it's even worse. Because yeah. you haven't got family around and so on. Um, but they are employees. Mm. 
you know they stopped doing the um, play of the month lunches because Why? the manager didn't want them but that's the whole thing it's like if you look at American sport and listen I know the culture they go different. in the dressing room before well, games exactly they don't put America, America yeah. well yeah you go in the dressing room after the game yeah. you know when I, I was over in you know, yeah. Florida very well so I've gone to Orlando City and met with Aiden and and blah and they were like if you want you can come in the dressing room the minute the whistle goes you have 15 minutes yeah, yeah. with the play and I was like I'm, I'm just going to watch the game because I've got me, you know, I've taken my dad and I've got my lad yeah, with yeah. my family with me. And, but he was, he said, if you want an interview, anyone or me, after, you've got 15 minutes after the game. Of players course. will have ice on and not. And it's like, like that's a, probably a bit too much. Of course. But somewhere in the middle. But their, their players are contracted to that club, so they yeah. don't go in and go. Oh, I'm getting off at 11 o'clock. No, it's we pay like, you twenty million dollars. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You're getting X amount of money. So if I tell you you're not leaving, you know you've got responsibilities at twelve. You've got to go to the local school for two hours. Totally. I mean, one of if, yeah, exactly. One of if not the highest paid sports person around these days, someone like Lewis Hamilton. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a camera and a microphone stuck in the face while they're getting out the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they accept it's part of the part job. Of it. And okay. that's, that needs to be. And so when players are coming to this, you know, particularly if they're coming up through the ranks, mm. you know, if a John Joe Kenny, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, coming up through the ranks, you know, you say this is part of the job. This is it. No. I mean, I, I sponsored Ty Browning and I sponsored uh, uh, Stonesy when he was here, yeah, and yeah. currently Mason Holgate and the like. Yeah. Oh, Ross, you know, yeah, these yeah. are all people who are a bit shy and mm. things like that. And and, and it's just so well, we'll coach you then. We'll teach you how to be good in front yeah. of the media. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do the other. I mean, UEFA and FIFA, they make them go through mix zones, but they go through with their heads down, with my Have fun, headphones. Go on, just know. Go on. No, embrace it. Yeah. Go over and talk to a journalist. You're more but, likely to get a relationship with But you. if you go across to a journalist and he says, Hi, yeah, Baz, mm. can you tell me about that fantastic goal you scored from 35 mm. yards? Yeah. And you go, Well, you tell me why you said I have my yeah. legs are only for standing on them last week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. Because it goes both ways. Because, of course. You know. that rela- that's what Southgate started. Yeah. The relationship is there. Get out of there. So, They're going to be in your face anyway. So, you know, and you can slag off a footballer if you're a journalist or a fan. Yeah. If he's just a name. Of course, yeah. But if it's a real life person who you've met. And you go on And you know what? Actually, Fred isn't he's complete all right. what's it. Yeah. He's all right. He's doing the best he can yeah. with it and so on. You know? It doesn't mean you can't criticise, but it means there's a way you criticise. So, so I'm quite optimistic. That things will uh, But change. time will tell. I mean, there's some timetable things that are going to happen, aren't there, for, mm. for, for this new board. Yeah. Um, clearly, there's going to be a general meeting. Yeah. And that was always the Robert Elston show. You know, months mm. of preparation and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so... When myself and Dave Kelly, who sits on our executive committee, and you'll know Dave, yeah, sits Dave, on our executive yeah, yeah. committee when, when we met um, with the football club earlier in the week with Denise and Richard mm. Kenyon and what have you at Finch Farm. So we were there on the first day of training. Oh, um, and you know, there's clearly an appetite to listen, yeah, take on board suggestions and act upon them. That's it, isn't it? I mean, Denise sat there and said, ha, oh, that's a good idea. But that's the thing, though, because that's yeah. what it's about. You, you Doesn't mean it's going to happen. You could come in and go... I've got ten ideas for what you, you and Peg can do. I'm like, oh, go ahead, mate. Give us them. Seven of them might be amazing. Yeah. Or three of them might be amazing. Yeah. Or one of them might yeah. be amazing. But at least you'd know and go, oh, well, all right. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. We can't do that because, or we might be. But what's wrong with that? What is wrong with accept? And this is what I think. And at least I worked there for eleven years, so yeah, I know course, yeah, yeah. exactly what, did you what do it's then? like. I've done all sorts. I was in the ticket office for most of it, but I did right, okay. tours with David and different things. And but. Someone actually put a picture on Twitter of from 1995, and I've got. I look like I've just signed for the twelve-year-old in the Evertonian. That's <laughs> oh, you come in every week, mate. Um, but it, it's about. It was always like we can't. We don't take advice off anybody. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fan. You don't give us a fan. It's like well, no, see him. He cares more about it yeah. than than you. Who we come, you know, and, and different thing because it doesn't matter. We're all attached to the football club. We all love it. We all yeah, want yeah. it to be number one. Right, we want it to be as big as it can ever be. Of course we do, and we want it to maintain what we love about it. And they will only be able to marry those two if they listen. If they just go, blah 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 blah, which to me I feel like that's what they do sometimes, a lot of the time. I'm being polite. Yeah. You are, but you're right. <laughs> things are, and and have slowly 
started opening up the other way. And I think there's, listen, yeah. I think there's some fantastic people working at our football club. I really do. And I know there's it's a lot. easy to, there, there, there's there's a it's, lot. it's easy to go, oh, you know, them and, not, and you'll get people who will never agree with, of course, you can't please everybody, but we have to be moving in that direction. Thanks very much, John. My Lovely pleasure. to see you. And you, sir. And uh, see you soon on Trophy TV. Cheers, guys.